Um, I went and checked my box today. I knew I was going to be coming here, so I had this scent. You guys remember when I told you guys that I purchased LA Beauty's toner? Well, here it is. She had used this. It's PCA Skin Hydrating Toner. So, yeah, I like this. It smells amazing. But I have that. That came in the mail today. But anyway, for today's video, what I'm going to be doing is sharing with you guys cleaning products. Who is ready to clean? Who's ready to clean? Who's ready to clean? If things work out the way that I think they're going to work out, I'm going to close. Within two or three days of closing, the flooring is going to come in. <laughs> and then once the flooring comes in, everything's going to get ripped out. And then all the hardware floor is going to go in. And then I can move in within a week of that date. So, excited, excited, excited. All right. So I got the method all purpose. And it is lime and sea salt. And this is from Grove Collaborative. I did grab two. And oh my gosh, you guys, it smells really good. But at the same time, it's giving me a little mince cologne kind of thing. So I'm probably going to use it for the boys' bathroom because it's already making me feel mm, not so good. And I think it's probably that sea salt. And I got some baking, baking soda. Baking soda. I got baking soda. You know, I listened to this song, right? And I was singing it. My friend said, do you know what that means? I was like, yeah, he's cooking with baking soda. Like, okay. He was like, no, girl. Then he explained it to me. And I was like, oh, I'm slow. <laughs> the next thing that I picked up was the Method Wildflower spray is an all-purpose spray now i'm gonna be honest with y'all i already told y'all when it comes to deep cleaning i need my clorox and my disinfectant wipes and my barkeeper's friend but mm, it's cute for the house to smell good in the in between during the week you know it feels really good and then i picked up the method daily shower now i'm gonna leave this in both the you know my bathroom and the boys bathroom because you know just to spray it after showering and stuff like that oh my gosh this smell mint tea what is this you could lip this mint <laughs> probably should have read that first and then i have bathroom cleaner spearmint this is for the toilet y'all like legit this ain't really doing nothing i'm just gonna be honest don't buy this don't let me see if i can zoom it in don't don't do this one don't buy this one right here okay i know i know i have it but it's really it's really for the cutesy like clean around the toilet real quick during the week but i would rather um use like a clorox wipe instead and then at the end of the week do like a deep all over it's cute, you know. I'm not gonna lie to y'all. And then I ended up doing the Method All Purpose Honeycrisp Apple. Um, this again cuts grease and grime, multi surfaces. Oh my gosh, this one here is the Method Steel for Real Clean and Polish. I actually really do like this. Again, fingerprints, the children. Okay, so I have the Method Daily Granite Cleaner um, Cleans and Polish, and it is in the Apple Orchard. The reason why I like this, and you may want to think about it, um, surface, safe, non-toxic, plant-based, and it is for marble and stone and um, granite, right? And it keeps it shiny. The reason why I like it is I may not necessarily like use my countertops to cook, but I do do a lot of prep work on top of my um, kitchen and stuff. So if the kitchen isn't too, too messy and dirty, I am a little bit more mindful with the surfaces in the kitchen just because, you know, you don't want to eat nothing. Because um, I was using something and then I was reading that it leaves like a film and it I did see the filmy smokiness on there. So then I just moved to this. I've been actually using this now for a little bit and I do really like it. So if you guys are interested, Target sells it too if you guys are in Target because, you know, I have been going to the Target recently. Um, the next one is the Pure Castile Peppermint Soap, you guys. This is bae. Like, this is bae. Like, it's really bae. <laughs> okay. Okay. 
So yeah, I grabbed four of these because I used to do my scalp with it, which I stopped, honey, because my beautician said, girl, don't do that. So I did stop using that. And um, what I use now is the almond, which I'm going to order. I wasn't thinking about my hair for some particular reason. I didn't buy anything for my hair and my skin. Well, you know, the skincare, but I'm talking about like in terms of like storage. I was thinking about the cleaning stuff, but I, I'm going to go ahead and order the almond. I really like the almond on my hair. It smells really good. Really, really good. Sprayway reached out to me, which I'm going to have to take a picture for Instagram. And they were like, hey, we see that you use Sprayway. I'm like, yeah, duh. And they were like, could they send me some products? Um, They sent me something before. I was like, sure, why not? So they sent me, ooh. Okay, glass cleaner, ammonia free, streak free spray. Oh, and then they sent the stainless steel. I've never used this either. I'll try it on the side of the fridge that you can't see. So just in case, I'll start there first. <laughs> um, I have used the all-purpose cleaner. I really do love this. It foams up really nicely. It actually shows the fridge, the sink, and the toilet. It cuts grease, soap scum, and grime. I actually really do love this here. Ooh, this right here is babe. Oh, no, this isn't the one. Multi-purpose cleaner, this isn't the one. Oh yes, <gasps> this is, I need to call them. They have to send me another one of this. You guys, this right here is babe. This, this is babe. Like I love this, the Sprayway uh, glass cleaner. This one's the foam. And when you spray it on the mirror, it doesn't streak, it doesn't move, it stays right there. I actually, I'm not gonna have any mirrors in the bathroom for a little bit. When I get into the house, I'm gonna do the measurements so I can order mirrors. I ended up going into Home Goods, right? They had mirrors, but they, they just look like mirrors that, that you would find inside a Z Gallery. And y'all know how I feel about Z Gallery. And I just did not want to go down that route. So I'm going to wait. When I get in the house, I'm going to place an order for some mirrors. Because I want something that's just timeless. You know, I can't keep... I can't. I want to, I, I, I legit, <laughs> I want to do one and done. Okay, so I got the Method Dish Soap. Okay, super cute little pumps. You guys know that I use Dawn, but I was trying to be extra. Caldrea is babe. Okay, Caldrea. This one here is the Pear Blossom agave if you guys are interested because i know you can't see it i do apologize i will leave everything linked down below i grabbed two of those you guys already know you got to get clean honey you guys already know these brushes right here allows you to get real detailed okay these are detail um uh, micro manager ah, it's cute funny detail brush two in one I'm guessing you can use this part and then use this but I really love this when you clean in behind the sinks in the bathroom so this one stays in the bathroom this one's gonna stay oh I don't mean in the kitchen I don't have anything behind there I also picked up flushable wipes the small mates um I actually got these to go in my purse I'm not gonna lie these were to go in my purse just in case if you guys have never seen them before but yeah, I got these to go in my purse. They're flushable, biodegradable, hypoallergenic. It has vitamin E and aloe. There's 30 individually wiped, um, wrapped wipes. And like I said, I got this for my purse. And then I picked up these guys here, which you should always have baby wipes in your bathroom. I just wanted to stock up on cleaning products because you guys already know if you guys are out here homeowners and stuff you just never know when emergencies are going to pop up and not pop up and i just i would just like to stay on ready you know what I mean? so i just went on ahead and i got a whole bunch of cleaning things so that way you know god forbid i'm not out here without the things that i need so while she ain't paying nothing right now 
I try to get the things that I know I was gonna need. Okay, so lemon verbena, the room fresheners. I got two, one for the master, one for the uh, downstairs, okay? And then, well, there's three of them. There's a total of three. And then I also, you guys already know, this right here is the linen spray. It is the, it's the room spray, but I also sprayed on the bed. It's called Drea, it's called Sweet Pea. I don't think I've ever smelled this one. I think I was like, the other one that I wanted was sold out and I was like, oh, please let this smell good. If anything, oh, it smells good. I like it, it smells like pear. I like it. So, I like to, when I wake up in the morning, I like to spray the bedding down, make the bed. I don't make my bed every morning. I'm not gonna say here a lot of y'all. I don't. I did order this. No, I don't think I ordered this. I think it came. I don't remember putting that in my cart. Ooh, y'all, this is my favorite right here. Wood for good polish, okay? Don't have no furniture, so I don't know what I'm gonna be wiping with it, but I got it. And then I also, another method, um, drying and cleaner. And then a wood, okay? Mm-hmm. Like I said, I think she ain't got no furniture, but she's gonna be doing something. And then this is the heavy duty degreaser. I love this for my cooktop, y'all. Love it, love it, love it. That's it. If you have been here long enough, you guys already know how I clean and what my cleaning looks like. I know I ain't been doing it for a minute, but it's it's still here, okay? Um, my go-to cleaning product is Odoban for the bathrooms, the Clorox, Barkeeper's Friend in the kitchen, the stove top, and all that. And if I can find the video where I did the list of like my cleaning products and things, I'll leave it in the description box. But these are all of my cleaning products. I am really, really happy. I think I did really good. You guys got to see the storage and I pretty much try to, again, I budget myself every single month to do a certain amount and I bought the things that I know that I was going to need. That way, again, I didn't feel like I was lacking anything. So um, I think not I think but when they're working on the flooring before they get should I have them come before or after I feel like before the guy puts in the well no I think it has to be after because the it hits the floor and I want it to be flush with the floor that way it has some sort of um balance so I have to wait when the flooring gets done when the flooring gets done in the linen closet i'm gonna have the guy come in and pretty much do a similar conversion that he did here that way i can have all my cleaning products and have my vacuum and have my electrician flip the plug in that closet that way i can have that um so i can plug the vacuum i got a list of things that i need to do and i'm probably not going to get everything done because the floor i mean anybody knows like the flooring is just like but anywho, that's all my cleaning products, you guys. If you have any questions, feel free to drop them down below. I know the camera quality today probably wasn't the best because it's really foggy outside. Like, really foggy. Ridiculously foggy out, you know? So I do apologize about that. But anyway, you guys have a really good one. Thank you again for watching. If you haven't already, feel free to like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye.